welcome to the tutorial on managerial accounting. Today the chapter is differential analysis for decision making. As a manager, whenever you need to take decisions, you may need to choose at least from two alternatives. In the case, uh, whenever you are taking decisions from choosing at least two alternatives, uh, you have to compare the cost and benefits of one alternative with the cost and benefit of another alternative. That type of comparison is known as differential analysis. So in differential analysis, we compare the cost and benefit of one alternative with the cost of and benefit of another alternative to take decision. Whenever we are taking decision, then we have to consider only the relevant cost because uh, only the relevant cost should be used in differential analysis only those costs and benefits that differ between alternatives are relevant in a decision and uh, a relevant cost is a cost that differ between alternatives so any cost that differ between alternatives is called relevant cost so and whenever we are taking decisions we should only consider relevant cost or relevant benefit available cost can be eliminated in whole or part by choosing one alternative over another and the avoidable cost are known as relevant cost. The cost which can be avoided by choosing one alternative over another alternative is known as avoidable cost and avoidable cost is also known as relevant cost. So relevant cost is also known as avoidable cost. On the other hand, all other irrelevant cost is known as unavoidable cost and in doing differential analysis we should consider the avoidable or relevant cost. Again, I'm repeating, whenever we are taking decisions, we should not consider unavoidable cost or irrelevant cost whenever we are doing differential analysis. And if we give example of irrelevant cost, we can see sum cost. Sum cost means any cost that occurred in past time and future cost that will occur in the future. These two type of costs are known as unavoidable cost or relevant cost and this two type of cost will not be considered in the differential analysis. Differential analysis, we will only consider the relevant cost or avoidable cost. And what is relevant cost? The cost which differ between two alternatives. So how can we find out the relevant cost? We can easily follow two steps to get the relevant cost. So the first step is we have to eliminate cost and benefit that don't differ between alternatives. In the second step, we should only use the remaining cost and benefits that do differ between alternatives. Finally, we can say whenever we are doing differential analysis for decision making, we should only consider the differential cost or avoidable cost or relevant cost. One thing we should keep in our mind that cost that are relevant in one decision situation may not be relevant in another context. So why should we do differential analysis? We need to do differential analysis for two reasons. The first reason is in decision making we may be not able to avail all related information to take the decisions. So in that case we have to consider only the relevant cost and benefit to take the decision. Another thing if we mingle relevant and irrelevant cost and benefit that will create a confusion in taking the decision. By utilizing the differential analysis, we can take various major decisions. Like here we can see we can take the decisions regarding adding or dropping a product line, making or buying a component, or we can take decision regarding accepting or rejecting a special order, using a constrained resource, processing a joint product further. So these are the some decisions we can take by doing differential analysis. In this tutorial, among the decision makings by utilizing the differential analysis, we will show the adding and dropping segment or product line. Whenever uh, we need to take the decisions regarding adding and dropping a product line or segments, ultimately we need to decide about uh, what would be the net operating income if we add or drop that product or that segment. In that case, we have to uh, analyze the cost related in adding or dropping that product line. In that case, uh, we have to consider related cost and benefit regarding the adding and dropping that product line or that segment. Here we can see a problem. Suppose a company named Discount Drug Company. Uh, it has uh, three product lines. Uh, we can see the first product is drug, another one is cosmetics, and another one is housewares. So this company has three product line. So in this uh, problem, we have to take a 
decision by doing differential analysis. Why should we take a decision? Because uh, if you observe the problem carefully, we can see that the drug product, it has a net upward income 16,000. In case of a cosmetic product, uh, we can see the net upward income is 12,000. But in case of houseware product, the company is uh, facing 8,000 loss so in that case we need to take a decision that since uh, the product houseware is uh, generating losses we may need to drop this product line but uh, as a manager in that case we should not decide that we should drop this product line before taking this decision we have to consider which are the relevant cost and which are the irrelevant cost again i'm repeating as a manager since this product houseware product is uh, generating losses then you may need to take decision as a manager you have two alternatives one alternative is that you have to drop this product another alternative is that you have to keep this product you have to choose whether you should drop the product or whether you should keep the product so whenever uh, you are taking the decision you have to consider the relevant cost and benefit so here these are the cost and benefit this is the sales this is the benefit and these are the variable expense this is the fixed expense these are the cost so as a manager after doing the relevant cost and relevant benefit analysis or differential analysis, you should take the decision. Which one is relevant and which one is irrelevant? In that case, you have to sit for a meeting uh, with your colleagues to analyze uh, which one is relevant and which one is uh, irrelevant. So, in this matter, we are going to show on the discussion. Suppose uh, in your company, some of the managers are doing the analysis to get the relevant and uh, irrelevant cost and benefit. First one is sales. Uh, this is the relevant benefit because uh, if we drop the Hauser product, this uh, sales will not arise from this product. So this is relevant. However, uh, variable expense, this is also relevant because uh, whenever you will drop this uh, product, this variable expense will not also exist. In case of uh, fixed expenses, we can see salaries. So here we can see salaries expenses represent salaries paid to employees working directly on the product. All of the employees working in the housewares would be discharged if the product line is dropped. So from this uh, discussion we can say the salaries expense is the relevant expense because it can be avoided the another name of relevant expense is avoidable expense so if we drop the product line for that product the salaries expense can be discharged that means it's a avoidable cost so it's a relevant cost avoidable cost is also known as relevant cost in our differential analysis we will only consider relevant cost or relevant benefit the second one is advertising cost here we can see the advertising expenses represents advertisement that are specific to each product line and are avoidable if the line is drops again we can see this advertising cost is a avoidable cost that means it's a relevant cost so the third expense utilities expense here we can see utilities expense represents utilities cost for the entire company the company charge to each product line is an allocation based on space occupied and is not avoidable if the product line is dropped so this utilities expense cannot be avoided so this is irrelevant so next is a uh, depreciation of features uh, here we can see the depreciation expense represents depreciation on features used to display the various product lines although the fixtures are nearly new they are custom built and will have no result if the housewares line is dropped so from this discussion we can say that uh, depreciation is a irrelevant expense because this cannot be avoided since this cost cannot be avoided this is unavoidable cost so this is irrelevant cost the next one is rent expense here we can see the rent expense represents rent on the entire building housing the company it is allocated to the product lines on the basis of sales dollar the monthly rent of 20,000 is fixed under a long-term lease agreement so again we can see this is this rent expense is a fixed expense so this expense cannot be avoided this is unavoidable that means this is irrelevant the next one is insurance expense uh, here we can see the insurance expense is for insurance carried on inventories within each of the three product lines if housewares is dropped the related inventories will be liquidated and the insurance premium will decrease proportionately the insurance expense is a avoidable expense that means it's a relevant expense this insurance expense can be avoided that means this is a relevant now the last one is a general administrative expense uh, here we can see the general administrative expense represents the cost of accounting purchasing and general management which are 
allocated to the product lines on the basis of sales dollar. So this cost will not change if the houseware line is dropped. So again, you can see this general administrative expense is not avoidable. That means uh, this is unavoidable. That means this is relevant. You can summarize uh, salaries expense. This is avoidable, relevant. Advertising. This is avoidable, relevant. It will is unavoidable irrelevant depreciation unavoidable irrelevant rent unavoidable irrelevant insurance avoidable that means relevant general administrative expense unavoidable irrelevant so only three expenses are relevant salaries advertising and insurance for the differential analysis we will only consider the relevant cost that means salaries advertising and insurance so let's see the practical solution this is a summary of our relevant and irrelevant cost uh, here we can see the salaries this is uh, available relevant advertising is available relevant cost it is expense uh, it cannot be avoided this is irrelevant depreciation this cannot be avoided so this is irrelevant rent expense this cannot be avoided this is irrelevant insurance expense it can be avoided so this is relevant general administrative expense this cannot be avoided so this is irrelevant so here the salaries expense 8000 advertising 6500 and insurance expense 500 so these three items are relevant cost so total relevant cost is 15000 these are the 15000 so this 15000 is relevant cost for deciding whether we should keep the houseware product and on the other hand this 13000 this is unavoidable cost that means this cannot be avoided so the cost which cannot be avoided should not be considered in decision making so these are irrelevant so simply we have analyzed that only uh, 15,000 is the relevant cost on the other hand uh, the contribution margin uh, of the product is 20,000 so if uh, we deduct the relevant cost from the contribution margin of that houser product we can get the 5,000 so if we drop this product this 5,000 uh, revenue will be lost by the company so uh, ultimately uh, we can see the contribution margin of the product is 20,000 and uh, the relevant cost is only 15,000 so if we deduct the relevant cost from the contribution margin we can get uh, 5,000 but uh, if we drop this product we will not get this factor from this summary discussion uh, we can say that uh, dropping the household product line would result in a 5,000 reduction in the net of product income so simply we can say we should not uh, drop the product we should uh, do a differential analysis uh, so how can we show the math uh, in our exam script that is uh, now i'm going to show this is the final differential analysis in the answer script we will uh, do that type of uh, differential analysis our decision was to uh, keep the housewares or we should uh, drop the housewares and this is the difference uh, if we keep or if we drop the housewares so here you can see the if we drop the housewares uh, we will not get sales uh, 15,000 we will uh, lose this uh, sales and uh, the bearable expense for this cost is 30,000 so ultimately uh, we will not get 20,000 if we drop this product okay so this is the contribution margin of houseware product and these are the relevant cost salaries this is uh, relevant 8,000 advertising this is 6500 relevant but the utilities this is relevant here depreciation relevant rent relevant uh insurance this is the relevant 500 general administrative expense this is relevant uh, why should uh, we call this cost are irrele relevant 1000 2000 from the uh, 4000 and 6000 these are relevant because whatever your decision if you drop this product this cost will remain exist uh, keep the product this cost will remain so since these are not avoidable so these are the irrelevant cost but in case of decision making we should only consider the relevant cost here uh, the relevant cost for this product is 8000 salaries 6500 advertising and insurance 500 so where the total uh, relevant cost is 15000 so the contribution margin is 20000 if we deduct the only the relevant cost 15000 this is the contribution margin and this is the relevant cost so ultimately the net operating income we are going to lose if we drop this product we will not get 5000 if we keep the houser product we will loss uh, 8000 but if we drop the houser product we will loss 13000 because uh, here the contribution margin is 20000 and the 
relevant cost for this 20,000 is 15,000. So after deducting, uh, we can uh, get uh, 5,000 revenue or income. But if we drop this product, so the differential analysis is showing that if we drop this product, we will not get this 5,000 revenue. What should be the decision? Based on the differential analysis, we can say that if we keep the houseware, uh, the loss is 8,000. But if we don't keep the houseware, I mean, if we drop the houseware, we will lose 13,000. So if we drop the houseware, the loss is higher. So the decision is based on the given data the houseware line should not be discontinued i mean this product should not be dropped unless a more profitable use can be found for the floor or counter space that is occupying so ultimately from this differential analysis we can say we should not drop the houseware because relevant cost analysis is showing that if we drop this product we will not get this 5000 this 5000 will be lost if we drop the product so we should not drop the product Alternatively, if we want to show that uh, this uh, Hauser product should not be removed or dropped, uh, only the relevant cost should be shown in the above position and the common cost should be deducted from the total amount. This is, this is the total column. Mm, these are the segment reporting. If this is called uh, one kind of segment reporting. Uh, in segment reporting, we are showing the relevant cost and benefit in the segment wise and the common cost are deducted from the total cost. So in that case, we can see the Hauser is generating 2000 or 2000 so total 5000 we can generate this 5000 profit by keeping this house product so we should not drop the product from the product line so from the differential analysis we can take various decision in this tutorial we have learned uh, how to take decision regarding adding and dropping product line in the next video we can learn how to take decision by using differential analysis for the following decision of like uh, making or buying a component or accepting or rejecting as a special order using a constraint resource and processing a joint product further so this type of problem will be discussed in the next video